Yes. In today's class, I would like to discuss about adsorption rate or rate of adsorption and adsorption isotherm rate of adsorption and adsorption isotherm what is this rate of adsorption rate of adsorption is the ratio of number of mole or amount of adsorbate adsorbed so <coughs> mass or amount of adsorbent or area of adsorbent you can consider the ratio of amount of adsorbate to amount of adsorbent is known as rate of adsorption if you consider amount of adsorbent is x and m is amount of adsorbent then x by m is generally known as rate of adsorption it is known as rate of adsorption next adsorption isotherm adsorption isotherm is relationship between rate of adsorption that is x by m and equilibrium pressure of adsorption p the relationship between x by m rate of adsorption and pressure is known as adsorption isotherm at constant temperature there are number of adsorption isotherm first one of course important isotherms are friendlich friendlich adsorption isotherm second one langmuir adsorption isotherm etc etc now let us see the friendlich adsorption isotherm friendlich adsorption isotherm holds good only at low pressure this friendly adsorption isotherm states the rate of adsorption amount of adsorption is directly proportional to the equilibrium pressure of adsorption rise to the power 1 by n that is x by m is proportional to p to the power 1 by n where p is pressure x amount of adsorbent m adsorbent here n 1 by n takes the value <coughs> 0 to 1 it takes the value 0 to 1 that is above 0 below 1 now we can write this expression as x by m is equal to k into p to the power 1 by n here k proportionality constant of course here it is known as adsorption coefficient k is known as adsorption coefficient this is one form of friendlich adsorption isotherm now you can take log on both side if you take log on both side you will get log x by m is equal to log k plus 1 by n into log p 1 by n into log p we just call this equation as 1 this equation as 2 here you just consider this one 
say x by m it is rate of adsorption you can vary the amount of adsorbent and adsorbent you can vary the pressure here x by m is variable p is also variable k is constant okay this expression of course you can call this x by m as x p as y k as sorry you can call x by m as y p as x k m you can take plus zero see y is equal to mx plus not zero c y is equal to mx plus c you know it is equation for straight line that means this friendlich adsorption isotherm is in the form of straight line equation this friendlich adsorption isotherm is in the form of friendlich adsorption isotherm so the plot of y against x must be a straight line here c value corresponds to zero now if you plot x by m what is x by m rate of adsorption against p to the power 1 by n pressure must be a straight line passing through the origin the plot of x by m against p to the power 1 by n or pressure must be a straight line passing through the origin whose slope must be equal to or whose slope is equal to k what is k adsorption coefficient see in this case it is observed the plot of x by m versus p is a straight line up to certain pressure then it slightly deviates you will have this type of curve at higher pressure this indicates this isotherm holds good only to a certain pressure region that means at low pressure it holds good on increasing the pressure the isotherm deviates from its normal value that side is said to be holds good only at low pressure this is one type of plot of rate of adsorption against p examinal kelthani give the plot of x by m that is rate of adsorption against pressure for adsorption process and explain it kelthani nevi plot bari bekagutte baradu host it is a straight line passing through the origin ant helirbeku adak mark irutte and slope is equal to k constant that is adsorption coefficient now you consider this expression here this is the logarithmic form of friendlich adsorption isotherm here you can consider this one log x by m as y you can take log x by m as y log k as m log p as x 1 by n sorry log k as c 1 by m n as m log p as x now it it is y is equal to mx plus c that means the logarithmic form of friendly adsorption isotherm is also in the form of straight line equation logarithmic form of friendly adsorption isotherm is in the straight line equation form here the plot of log x by m versus log p 
must be a straight line it must be a straight line but one thing born in mind in the previous case the constant c corresponds to zero previous case nalli c zero ittu andre that shows the plot passes through this plot is straight line passes through the origin and here c has some definite value that is log k this indicates plot of log x by m against log p is a straight line but not passing through the origin it is important one so plot will be something like this with positive slope so plot of log x by m against log p is a straight line but not passing through the origin now its slope will give you the value of slope corresponds to m here what is m it is 1 by n here slope is equal to 1 by n from which you can get the value of 1 by n and the intercept will give you the value of c c corresponds to log k now extend this plot on extrapolation it intersect the rate axis this intercept must be equal to c c is nothing but log k c plot of log x by m against log p is a straight line but not passing through the origin it has positive slope slope of this plot is simply equal to 1 by n the intercept of the plot is simply equal to log k then what about k k is equal to anti log of the intercept the anti log of intercept will give you the value of the uh, absorption constant or coefficient this are important thing of langmuir sorry friendlich adsorption isotherm okay next we shall see some more points in the next class